Stuart Law, Nick Pothas, thank you for joining me. Stuart, firstly, uh, your first competitive game in charge of Middlesex over the last three days, a decent run out against the Oxford University students, plenty of positives to take. Yeah, very much so. Um, batsman, you know, got some valuable time in, in the in the middle um, and you've got to say that the, the wicket was absolutely outstanding for this time of year as well. It, it was a real uh, real batsman's uh, paradise um, you know, and it ended up getting slower and slower which, um, you know, which enabled, you know, um, Oxford to hang on for a draw, but you know a lot of positives. Steve Finn bowled beautifully yesterday and today. Uh, James Harris is finding his his rhythm. Toby Roland Jones looked like he's um, he's had a fantastic you know off season and and ready to go. Nick Gubbins with a hundred. Steve Eskenazi as well. Uh, a couple of half centuries from the captain and Owen Morgan. Uh, all looking good, mate. You've been in training with the boys for the best part of three months now, Stu. All a bit different when they get out here on the park. Um, what do you make of it all so far? Obviously, plenty of positives, like we said, from this game. You must be pretty encouraged. Yeah, very much so. I mean, a very professional bunch of young men and, you know, really want to you know, get out there and, and, and play for Middlesex. Um, you know, they, they've got a responsibility to, to get Middlesex back into the top flight. So uh, I think they're all very much aware of that um, and they're working very hard to, to put that right. So, look, it, it is a you know, it's very early days, um, very early times at this stage, the honeymoon period, as we call it, um, at the moment. But um, so far, uh, very impressed with... The attitude of the players, uh, very impressed with their work ethic and very impressed with you know, the way the staff go about their work as well. Good to hear. Nick, one huge change I've noticed at first hand is the energy and the vigour that the boys are showing in pre-match preps. Um, huge amounts of warm-ups, that's obviously something down to your good self. I'm not sure about huge amounts of warm-ups and uh, obviously like Stu said, it's honeymoon period so um, let's see if they've still got the same amount of vigour in August. But uh, look, at you know, we've been around county cricket long enough to know that it's a long season you're going to get through a lot of warm-up so keeping it fresh keeping it exciting keeping it competitive is going to help um, a lot but most importantly you know not, it's not just about warming up bodies but it's actually quite important to warm up your eyes and your minds as well but uh, the more fun you can include um, which has always been stew to our philosophy uh, the better place you're going to put in place to be able to perform out on the field Excellent. I've been around the lads all week. There seems to be a genuine sense of enthusiasm. They all seem to be kind of chomping at the bit to get out there against Northants in the Championship. There's a there's a real sense of energy around it. Is that something you've kind of focused on and something you naturally bring, Nick? Yeah, uh, very much so. Um, you know, as Stu said, they're a very close-knit bunch of lads. You know, they get on very, very well together um, and they're great men. You know, what we're trying to bring in is maybe a little bit more of a cutting edge on them, um, a little bit more anger maybe out on the field. But um, you know, the guys are in such a great place. You know, when you're in that great place, you want to get out and play. Stu, you mentioned that bowling unit earlier. Great to see Finney back here. Rojo obviously missed most of the last year. It's like getting a new signing back. Uh, you must be pretty damn excited to unleash them on Northants in a week or so. Well, yeah, look, yeah, to, to have those two names on your team sheet um, and fully fit and firing... Um, you know, it's a, it's a dream. So, you know, they've got some really good backup as well with, you know, a lot of prospect um, England players. Um, you've got some young kids uh, who, who filled in at, towards the end of last year and did a great job. So right now, to try and fit 11 players on the field out of, you know, the squad of 20-odd we, ha we have is is a difficult job. But um, it's a pleasure to have that sort of um, challenge to, to put you know, those players on the field. But you know, to, to have those boys in the in the squad firing um, is obviously a, a real bonus for us. Um, you know, our batting unit probably has underachieved in the last couple of years, and we've we've spoken at length about you know how we're going to go about our, our batting this year. So, you know, it's it, it's a long season, but you know we we got to start pretty sharp. And the way we've started our pre-season, um, I think you know, North Ants is a, a game that everyone's champing the bit to get to. Great stuff, and Nick, last one for you. Um, you mentioned the energy in the dressing room. We've had Tim Murta come back from Ireland this week. I'm guessing he probably hasn't stopped talking about his test half century. <laughs> How important are people like Mertz in this dressing room to bring that energy out? Oh, look, he's, he's vital. I remember when I was younger, you know, Murphy Hughes was known as the freak fly because he's an irritating brother, but um, Mertz is relentless. He is relentless, and he can do everything with a straight face. So, uh, yeah, it's vital to have those blokes around. You know, county cricket, as I said, it's, it's a long year, um, and you need those energy pills within your change room just to keep people up. Gents, thanks for joining me. All the best of luck down in Somerset. Quick three-day friendly, and then it's all go against Northants. Hope it goes well. Thanks, mate. I'm sure it will. Uh, so far, so good. All good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, mate.